largest skull of any land dwelling animal. So I was watching YouTube the other day and there's this young guy called Dinosaur Ryan. Really cool guy. He's, he's very, very nerdy about dinosaurs and you gotta love this. He's so passionate. Uh, he's just a young guy and he's talks so much about dinosaurs and I love dinosaurs so I'm in for a listen. He has this one video called Drawing Dinosaurs and he does, you know, he's not bragging that he's an artist. He's saying this is just simple drawings but no, I was sort of feeling very inspired by that and I thought it's time that I did some more dinosaur art. I haven't done dinosaur art for ages and when I was very very young, as in you know about that high, I used to draw dinosaurs all the time. I love dinosaurs. Anyway, I've got some watercolour canvas. This is a canvas which can handle watercolour. It can also handle ink. In fact, it's great. So I'm going to do my dinosaur picture on here. And hopefully, if I've got time, it's going to be one of many dinosaur drawings. Crazy watercolour, man, it's just crazy, there's wet stuff, throw the colour on, who knows what's going to happen. Colour, anything could happen. It all just bleeds and loses control. That's what's cool about watercolour, you lose control. Well, it's all about losing control, man. Ugh. And here we have my illustration of a happy dinosaur. There he is. And of course I've snuck in a little prehistoric snake here, because I am the snake artist. Mm -hmm. 